getting started. Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we will see how to create this grasshopper definition that can handle infinite and results. The rose window is just one of the, possi the possible applications of the algorithm. Let's not waste time with chatter and go straight to see how the algorithm is set up. Our first goal is to achieve this collection of points. Let me show you better. This collection of points. Uh, to do this, we need to first create circles with uh, specific conditions. We use the range, this common here, range, with a step of 20 to enter a graph mapper. Subsequently, uh, the output of this graph mapper will be remapped here uh, using the remap command on a domain ranging from uh, 0 to the radius, in this case is uh, 100, of the outer circle, which will define with a simple slider, this slider here. The second step involves uh, rotating each of these circles So we have these circles here, we have to rotate each of these circles by a certain amount. I define this quantity using the range and graph mapper, this range and this graph mapper this time, that, um, assigning the same slider from the previous step as the input and for the range. We have the same slider at the beginning. I like before, I will remap this value with this common here, remap numbers, um, starting from a range between 0 and 1, but this time I will project it onto a range of uh, 0 to 360, which represent the full angle in degrees. Then I convert it in radians, which is the unit required by a rotate common. Now we have the rotated circles. Nothing changed in the viewport, but they are rotated of a certain angle defined by this graph mapper. So um, now I take these circles and generate it from the previous part of the code and uh, rotate each of them by one of the values coming out from uh, read. Therefore, each circle will be rotated by an amount regulated by the graph mapper. The final step of this uh, first stage involves dividing the curves into segments of uh, equal length using the shutter command here. Uh, if you want to try an exercise, you could sim simply use divide, but you'll notice that uh, it has a flow. If you find it, write it in the comment. Pay attention to the shutter command, uh, to the shutter command setting here. Uh, I reparameterize the curve and graphed the curve, and uh, uh, therefore I uh, flatten the input value, uh, the input t value here. Um, and uh, so when I divide all these scores, then um, then um, I take the end point and the start point of the uh, each of these seconds, and, uh, and I clean uh, them up using uh, call duplicates. Um, sorry for the interruption and uh, so I have this clean uh, collection of points here no duplicates inside inside 
Now we have this collection of points and all that's left is to create a Voronoi from these points. So we use the Voronoi 3D command to create this, uh, Vor this collection of Voronoi cells. Then we deconstruct the Voronoi and clean it up using a technique that I won't explain step by step here but I have already uh, covered uh, in this video so you can see this video if you want to know more about this technique and uh, once the Voronoi is cleaned up we connect it to multipipe uh, in the input cures using flatten we are seeing our base collection of points as the size point so the base collection of points here we um, connect with size point and um, and for the truth size I signed a value of 0 0.2 all that is left uh, is to set the node size this this quantity here um, I want to control it through a graph mapper uh, as well and so first I draw a line line um, from each point in my base collection to the central point calculate the length of these lines and remap the values uh, onto a target domain ranging from 0 to 1 I adjust the value range uh, of the graph mapper this way I work on this parameter here and um, and um, I set the Y start value to 0 0.0001 and uh, 2 for the upper values of the range so that this value is never 0 and as a maximum of a value of 2 instead of 1 as default and this is the last operation then um, wait a moment that uh, is calculating the geometry maybe I touched something now I want to show you the final results that is here I connected a simple custom preview here to uh, only to show the results I enable this um, preview and so this is the final result but the final result can be uh, the, the algorithm uh, can uh, have uh, millions of combinations and uh, they depends by this graph mapper here and these two graph mapper here and uh, these are some of the solution that you also see at the beginning of the video and so uh, the only limit is your uh, fantasy what I suggest to do is uh, when you change the values here is to enable this uh, this uh, command here in order to uh, decide the Voronoi configuration first and then uh, only after you have decided this configuration you um, can decide to give a 3D aspect to, to it so thank you for watching uh, I hope it was helpful uh, if it was please like activate the notification bell and subscribe to the channel i wish you a good day and productive work